I'm Tammy. I'm your new roommate. Hi, I'm Alex. Let me help you with your bag. All right. So where are you from? I moved here from Vietnam. I'm the first in my family to come to America. Wow, so you moved here by yourself? Yeah, I don't have any family here, but I'm hoping to make some new friends. Well, consider me your first friend. Awesome. <laughs> Do you mind if I ask why you decided to come here? Well, America is the land of opportunities. I wanted to come here and build a better life for myself to open doors that wouldn't otherwise be an option back home. Do you really think being in America will help with all that? Well, I have to believe it. We're right here, and your class is over here. Well, I would walk that way. Um, but I have to get to my class all the way across campus. But I'll see you tonight, and you can tell me about how your first day went. Okay, thank you for all your help. You're welcome. And don't worry, I was super nervous on my first day as a freshman too. You'll be fine. What happened? Well, I got lost on my way to physics, and I don't think the professor is very pleased with that. Uh-oh. Then what happened? I tried to make up for being late in physics by raising my hand, and when the professor called on me, I completely forgot how to say it in English. I could hear the kids snickering behind me as I went, uh. Ah, <laughs> oh, that sounds rough, but you shouldn't let those jerks get to you. It wasn't just them. My math professor was handing out the syllabus. It was completely overwhelming. Textbooks are very expensive. I'm gonna need to find a job to afford all of this. Maybe I'm just in way over my head. I know it seems like a lot, but it's only your first day. You just need some time to get used to it. Maybe. Let's go get some food. That'll take your mind off of it. That sounds great. Hey Tammy, look at this. Dear Mom, now that the craziness of the first few weeks of college have calmed down, I decided to write a letter home. I know we call and video chat all the time, but I've been thinking of some things lately that I figured were better written down. When I was younger, you see, talk about how you came to America to find opportunity for yourself and for the family you hoped to build. You wanted to pursue that mythical American dream we all hear so much about, and I didn't always understand that. I'm not sure I do fully understand it now. It seemed like you worked so hard and didn't get all you deserved for it. You came here all by yourself to a country so different from your home when you were my age. 
Just living on campus on my own, a couple hours drives away from home, has been a chaotic experience for me. You worked all through school to pay for your textbooks. You struggled through your studies, but you kept pushing through. I've always heard stories about kids who came close to dropping out from pressure like that. Hearing those stories made me wonder if you ever considered it, just giving up and going back home. And if you did think about it, you didn't do it. Maybe because you had so much to lose by giving up and a chance to gain so much if you stayed. Because you had big plans for your future and a life in America with a degree to bolster it was the beginning of it all. And I'll admit, in the past, I've wondered if the life you got here was the one you imagined, if you were truly were living the American dream. I think when people say that they envision some Car Carnegie-esque epic where a determined individual builds an empire of wealth and fame through sh sheer perseverance and hard work, but that vision isn't what your life ended up looking like. You became a teacher, making a teacher salary. There was a point where you were laid off and we weren't sure if we were going to keep living in our home, and I saw the way people treated you, especially as I got older, as if you were some perpetual foreigner even though you've lived here for decades. How some would cast mean looks when you spoke Vietnamese. Some would even mutter, un mutter under their breaths that you should learn English. How your accent would make people question your intelligence. How they would make so many assumptions based on what you looked like. I saw all that and I wondered if all that, being treated like an outsider in the place you now called home, coupled with how things can still go wrong in this great land of opportunity, meant it was all still worth it. I wondered how all our lives could have been different if you and Dad had met in Saigon instead of Seattle, if I had grown up there instead of here. You said you wanted me to have a better life here too, but I don't even know what I want my life to be. You and Dad worked so hard to send me here. If your end game was for me to get that vision of success, what if I mess it all up? What if you did it all for me and I managed to waste it? I'm not going to lie, with all the animosity in the air lately, it feels like the whole American dream and land of immigrants spiels are the nice slogans you put on a brochure cover to soften the blow of what you see if you actually dare to open it up. I still wonder if life would have been better or worse, or somewhere in the middle back in Vietnam. But I'm writing all of this to let you know that I'm I think I'm starting to get it. I've been walking around the same campus, studying at the same libraries, and living in the same city as you when you were my age. I've been thinking a lot about what it was like for you back then. I've been so worried about figuring out what I'm going to study and what I'm going to do with my degree after college, but maybe that dilemma is stemming from that opportunity you talk about. Maybe it's the problem of having so many options that I don't know which one to pursue. It'll probably take some time before I can figure out the road I'll take my shot at, but in the meantime, I wanted to say thank you for everything you did to get me to this crossroad in the first place. This is the only life I've ever known and will ever know, so I can only wonder what alternatives might look like, and the one I have is pretty good. I'm proud to be Vietnamese, I'm proud to be a second generation immigrant, and I'm proud of all the wonderful things to come.